Hey, what's up guys? I'm your friend Dhruv Modi from Twitter Junction and in today's tutorial we're gonna create this awesome looking abstract text effect. So, let's get started. To create this image, go to file, create a new document. The width will be 1920 and the height will be 1080. Resolution is 115F and hit OK. Now, uh, select a type tool I'm using font Arial and in regular and type your text whatever you want so I'm typing effect and press ctrl T and hold down your shift key and this way you can scale down your text and hit enter now make sure you have selected your move tool and press ctrl A and here you can see some alignment tools so select second one and then second last now to remove the selection press ctrl D now double click on your text and from the regular I would love to select black so it is some thick text that will be really good now we do not want in the text in perfect center so select your shift press down your shift key and drag it up a bit okay now the image you want to use whatever so for this I am using a building image buildings that night so this image from DeviantArt pretty good stuff so and they also have many other images which you might love to use so here's my image now uh, drag down your image into your document and minimize it for a while after image is in the document uh, all you need is rescale your image to fill completely the background now this is good enough maybe a little bigger even if you do not scale it properly uniform and might stretch it okay we can afford it now uh, can you see that thumbnail there hold down your control key and click over there now select your picture layer and right over third option is this third button is mask tool so select mask and it will mask out the selection we made of the text now we do not need the text anymore so hide it now uh, of this uh, alignment tool so now when you will select the image you can move it in your text because that mask is not allowing uh, the image to change so see normally if you select the mask it will work this way but if you select your image and then move it it will move only in the masked area so now uh, select a brush tool and uh, I have some abstract brushes over here if you want them the link is in the description for the download now scale them down you can do right click and scale them down as you need also you can use the bracket keys the big bracket after P and enter so make sure your foreground color is white and in selected your mask click here like this so it will create start creating some abstract effects the key for a good image is keep on changing your brush and make them various and keep on changing their rotation and all every time use different type of brush in different size so it will help you to create a good variation of image as you can see it has started to look some abstract type so I will go and fast forward the video because it will take some time so here we are done with our effect I know it is not looking that awesome because I didn't spend too much time in it but if you keep patient if you work passionately and 
keep on doing experiment with different kind of strokes and brush you can have it if you want to rotate the brush you can see that button over here or you can also press f5 here you can change rotation of your brush now maybe rotate it this way and now so there we have different kind of effect so spend a little time for good effect uh, it is not something like that you click few times and you get the effect no you have to work a little hard so after that uh, i added some text as you can see over here text tutorials from tutorial junction so simply i'm using my same font Arial, but this time I will go with regular and let's type in the text whatever you want. Now again press Ctrl T and hold down your shift key and make it a little bigger and put it here. Okay. As you can see here I have different color in the buildings. So for that I created a new adjustment layer, hue saturation and here you can find many different type of images. Uh, sorry different type of colors and the blue is my favorite one so yeah play with the sliders you might find something new okay after we have that okay. you can also select your image again and maybe we will put it here now that's looking pretty decent okay after you have that your effect is looking very good but as you can see I have also some effect in this background I have done nothing for that select a brush tool again and your, make sure you selected your one of the abstract brush and this time make it even larger and uh, make sure you selected your mask and white color now just do some clicks here and there make sure you use different brush every time that's looking decent now I might use this brush uh, okay this is looking good now to add some variations in your background double click on your layer and select gradient overlay after selecting that uh, go to a gradient type and select natural density and hit ok for the radio uh, for the gradient type we are, i'm going to use radial gradient and reverse it and then scale it up to 150 complete after that reduce your opacity maybe to 60-65% ok uh, now we are pretty much done now to create some light effect uh, make sure you have selected a brush tool and a soft round brush now go to your color palette and select a baby blue color mm, that's what people call it and hit ok after you have that create a new layer and just click some places click at some places and put it on a screen mode and there you have it you can also use some different colors if you want maybe something orange type mm. that's looking pretty good yeah so now it is almost done maybe you can use it on top of your brochure or your facebook cover or whatever okay i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you are uh, want to see some other tutorials uh, you can see the list you can click over there uh, previously had done uh, spider-man font effect and if you want a regular update of my uh, video uploads you can subscribe to my channel that will be really great uh, so i hope you guys learned something take care bye